traits and abilities of psychic empaths are you an highly sensitive person an empath or a psychic empath psychic empathy is often misunderstood as being paranormal mr curious solves this enigma by telling you what a psychic empath actually is describing different types of psychic empaths along with its traits empaths contribute to 5% of the total population highly sensitive people sometimes consider themselves as being empaths for reasons unknown and they cover about 15-20% of the population do you feel like a sponge that wipes away the tears from people's faces as if you're the only one in the entire universe who's meant to understand others feelings and sort their problems do you often get intuitions about events that may occur in future and when you tell them to people nobody believes you later when things happen as you predicted they show up regretting the fact that they should have heard you out the first time itself but this seems to be a never ending cycle leading to frustration and confusion in your mind do you feel you're leading the life of a hermit you don't attend social gatherings and if you do you sit in a corner by yourself avoiding the crowd just because you receive negative vibes from people some strange feelings on spotting a pet dog with its master you know that the owner is not taking good care of his pet and you just fail to understand the reason why all these signs indicate that you are a psychic empath often times people relate this to a paranormal trait no it isn't it is above the natural realm empathy is genetic and has been studied by science and healing practitioners there is no foolproof explanation for such feelings existing in people however it is said to have both genetic and spiritual roots having said that it is also the fact that these empathic traits can be extremely confusing and challenging at the same time some may accept this as a gift and use it to their best while some find it really difficult to balance the energies as well as manage the emotional chaos they find themselves in and think it is some sort of a web they are caught in no one can become an empath but can only be born as one however some believe that one can develop psychic abilities with practice and time empaths may strengthen their power through meditation even so no one is certain as to why these abilities exist or how they could be developed many extremely sensitive people wrongly believe that they possess empathic feelings and this is what makes them an empath the precognitive abilities of empaths are very high as compared to that of the highly sensitive bunch read on to know what or who exactly is a psychic empath who is a psychic empath empathy is an ability to understand people and resonate their feelings since they can scan and understand other person's psyche they are called psychic empaths the difference between empaths and psychic empaths is that the latter one just knows what people are going through and their underlying feelings even if the person isn't letting any of his her emotions out they exhibit acute sensitivity to emotional states of themselves and others sometimes emotions of others may overpower their own feelings there is a possibility that the empath himself is unaware of these abilities and may just refer to it as being sensitive to others types of empaths psychometry the ability to receive impressions information and on the whole energy from physical objects and places these can include pictures jewelry home etc telepathy the empathic ability to read a person's thoughts accurately is telepathy mediumship the ability to sense feel hear etc the presence and energies of spirits of deceased individuals physical healing the empathic ability to feel another person's physical symptoms in your own body these individuals also hold the ability to heal and transform them emotional healing the empathic ability to understand and feel other person's emotions animal communication fauna empathy the empathic ability to hear understand 
and interact with animals. Nature Flora Empathy The empathic ability to read, receive emotional and physical signals from plants, communicate with them and with nature. Geomancy The empathic ability to feel the energies of land and places. Often, geomancers are in pain and tend to get headaches or are anxious and restless before the occurrence of any land-related disasters, earthquakes, landslides, etc. Precognition The empathic ability to feel the occurrence of some important event or situation before it actually happens. This is a feeling of incomprehensible doom. Clerconizance Knowing Empaths of this type just know what's to be done in a situation. They know if someone's misleading or lying and likewise. They always know the truth without any logical base. Clerconizance is often accompanied with an empathetic ability to feel peaceful and chilled even in a situation of crisis. Symptoms of a psychic empath These are signs that affirm you as an empath. However, it is important to understand that all of these may not be applicable for every empath. Some may have acute senses while some may decipher language and feeling of plants and animals, depending on the types mentioned above. Avoiding public places and social encounters. Avoiding situations that may lead to conflicts, often easily hurt and sensitive to criticism. Extremely shy and nervous in crowded places situations. Gets easily attached to children and animals. Harmony lovers. They are often drift into a different world when listening to music, thus avoiding chaotic situations, caring and nurturing behavior. Developing an emotional attachment with characters in novels and movies, feel and understand their emotions as if they are real, etc. Always approached by people when they are stuck in some situation. Feeling a sense of responsibility to help suffering people and those in pain, which makes them feel good. Traits and abilities of a psychic empath Empaths sense emotions very quickly in a deep manner. They have a great sense of knowing and understanding stuff. They are good listeners and excellent counsellors. People trust on empaths blindly and hence are found sharing their problems with them. Surprisingly, even strangers don't find it difficult to share and discuss their personal issues with empaths. They have strong intuitive powers. They can tell if someone is lying about anything. They can read the other person's body language, judge their actions, and sense their intentions. Some empaths can even study eye movements. They are prone to mood swings for no apparent reason. Some find it difficult to handle compliments as they are more into discovering good and positiveness in others. They are sensitive to violence, loud noise, Emotional drama depicting scenes that involve abuses, torture on children or innocent people. They experience DJ Vu and synchronicities very often. They feel lethargic and lack energy most of the time. Their energy gets drained off in taking on too much from others. They are often diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome. Me, they get bored or distracted easily. They find it difficult to do things in which they find no joy. Seeking answers is their birthright. They get frustrated if their questions don't get answered. Empaths are daydreamers. Simply staring at stars can give them immense joy. They are prone to carry weight around their bellies even if they don't overeat. They say this is to lessen stop the impact of negative energies around them. They will not choose to buy anything that's second-hand, as they believe it may carry previous owner's energies. Some empaths who are unable to accept this empathic feeling or are unaware about it may behave differently. They are mentally exhausted and unable to reach within themselves due to excess energy utilized in recognizing the emotions and feelings of others. Just like sharing the pain of others while sympathizing with them. Empaths also have the ability to attract physical pains like body aches, eye infections, etc. It has been observed that psychic empaths are usually writers and artists. Owing to high degree of creativity and interest in art and music and imagination, 